This is ECU E83. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the JTAG to program this device. Um, normally, people would prefer not open the case to use the canvas, and this is what I'm going to do in the next video. Uh, but in order to develop the uh, canvas method, we need to have a way to recover it. JTAG method is the uh, my preferred method to recover a, a dead unit. Uh, if you were using the canvas method, and you do properly, you do not need to do this JTAG method. But this is for, demo, uh, this is for demonstration purpose. And if people get the bricked unit, then the JTAG method can recover it. This is the row of the JTAG pins on this side. Uh, and there is another row on this side is for something else. You need to put a resistor between the third pin on this side and the first pin on this side. This will um, become a watchdog disabled. And in my case, I use a resistor and I use a clipper because I can either put on and remove it. When I do the development for the canvas, I can remove it. So in here, I'm going to connect here. And then um, for the power, uh, the side, we can use the, this is ground. I put ground here. And the, the first pin and the third pin is the 12 volt. So I'm going to jump the 12 volt here. So here is the ground and two pins of the 12 volt. So carefully flip over. and make sure the resistor is on. So now plug in the Ulink NT and power on, and then turn on the 12 volt. So in the software, you need 1.62 because of some additional chipset is need to be defined. And the configuration I'm selecting is the ECU E83. So first thing to do is click detect and you will see the uh, this is MCPC5565, and when you see the de debugger on, it can stays on. If you remove this resistor, you will see it will not stay on debugger on. It will go to debugger off after that. So first thing to do is always back up so we can read it. And this is the read, and we can do a verification. So verify it. And then we can hit save, make sure you have a good backup. So this is the flash, you can save it. And let's try to erase it. So let's erase. And you can blank check it. So make sure it's blanked. And then we can write it back. This chip has two megabyte of flash, so program take about uh, 20 seconds. You only need to use the JTAG method to recover the ECU if it's bricked. Uh, if you can use the canvas method, it is still recommend to use the canvas method, but you do need to have a good backup.